In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to make money with ClickBank in four steps. We're starting right now. What's up guys, my name is John and if this is the very first time you come to my channel, I wanna welcome you here. On this channel, we teach you about entrepreneurship, making money online, as well as affiliate marketing. So if any of those things interest you, definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now guys, in this video today, we're gonna to be jumping right into it. We're gonna be talking about how to make money with ClickBank and I've broken it down in four steps for you to follow. And we've got a lot of good content to go over, so make sure you stay to the end of the video because you don't wanna miss any of this content. It's gonna be juicy, it's definitely gonna help you make money with ClickBank and have longevity and not just make a product sale here or there. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, guys. So I pulled out the trusty PowerPoint uh, presentation today. I'm stepping it up for you guys today, right, with the PowerPoint presentation. And again, we're going to be talking about four steps to success with ClickBank, how to make money on ClickBank in four steps. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first step, you guys probably should have guessed this already, is pick a niche. So step one is pick a niche. And this is something that you really want to take a little bit of time to actually think about and really chew on because you want to be able to build a brand around your niche and you want to be able to go hard around your niche. And this is something that you're going to be doing long term. So you really want to take some time to uh, invest in kind of what are you really uh, interested in? What are your hobbies? And what do you really want to focus in on? Because this is going to be so important. So some questions to ask yourself is, you know, what are you passionate about? Are you interested in something? Are there products to promote within that niche? So sometimes you may be interested in something that there is no products on ClickBank about. So I'm not sure, but if you're interested in basket weaving and there's no basket weaving products on ClickBank, then that really wouldn't be a good niche to go ahead and start getting into. You wanna be able to have a multitude of products that you can sell, or at least a couple, a handful of products that you can sell um, on ClickBank within your niche that are gonna be good to promote and that can make consistent income uh, for you. And then the last question you wanna consider is, are people actually actually spending money in that niche as we speak. Are people spending money? And you can actually go into ClickBank and you can actually see uh, people are you know, purchasing those products just by checking the gravity. If you see you know, a high gravity, you know that you know, affiliates are selling that product and you know that that is a potential hot niche and or hot product. So as we're talking about niches, some of the things you wanna consider, we kind of talked about hobbies. So what are you interested in? So picking that niche, again, we talked about you know finding something that you're really interested in because you want to hunker down with that niche and go very deep. So when I mean, you're looking at hobbies, just to kind of give you guys some examples and kind of get the, the juices flowing, you know, maybe you are into fishing or maybe you're into hiking or swimming or playing poker. These are good niches that, you know, people, you know, enjoy doing and people spend a lot of money on, right? So maybe you're passionate about something. So maybe about passionate about being healthy, um, fitness, education, causes, you know, maybe there's a local blood drive or a national blood drive that you are passionate about or something with kids that you are passionate about. That could be a good niche to get into Or problems. You know, people have problems with weight loss or acne or depression or home repairs. And then there's trends. So you have like the vegan diets, you have homeschooling, you have different trends that, you know, people. Um, natural hair, that's another good trend um, that people are so interested in and they spend a lot of time, resources, and money um, trying to get information and better themselves in these different categories. So the other thing you want to consider when you're thinking about niches is you can find a niche and then sub niche it down, right? So you can be in the, say, health and fitness niche but you know, as a whole, health and fitness is a very competitive niche to be in. 
So if you sub niche that down, so maybe you're in the health and fitness niche, but then maybe you just target people that are into a vegan diet and vegan vegan recipes. So maybe you try to just target those people and really go in on the veganism, the diets, the recipes, um, so that you can target just that little sub niche because there's millions of people that are into veganism and you're not like competing with the general health and fitness niche with all the weight loss and build the muscle and everything else you sub niche your uh, niche down and then you can kind of build around that so again you want to make sure that you're clear on the niche that you want to be in and you want to stick with it you don't really want to jump around um, you really want to kind of go hard and go deep in the niche because that's just going to help you sell more products uh, down the line. And you want to become an authority in your niche. You want to learn as much as possible about it. And that will show in the content that you create. And you're just going to become authority because, again, that's going to um, make you a lot of more money. So step two. Step two is to build your own platform. So, and why do you need to build your own platform? So I've seen in the past where people will pick uh, ClickBank products and they'll build like these uh, niche websites solely around that ClickBank product. And that's not really a good idea to do. And just because, you know, those products can be here today and going tomorrow. So like not all of these products stay around on ClickBank for forever. So there are a lot of evergreen products on there, but then some are, you know, here today, going tomorrow. Some are taken off the market. Um, some are just not uh, relevant anymore. So if you're building your website around a one particular product, that's not really the smartest thing to do. So what you want to do is you want to be able to control have control and the way you do that is you control your brand by creating your own website so you want to create your own website and brand you brand your business and then you have like within your niche you're going to be talking about all those different topics when you're creating your content um, and then that's how you're going to control your brand and then you're going to be able to build trust and, and a reputation around that niche as you're producing content, right? And then this is also gonna be the best way to make consistent sales because you have like this home base online. So if you have your own website, you know, and you're putting out content about vegan recipes and vegan um, diets and vegan this and vegan that. So you have your home base that people can come and they can find out about the recipes and they'd be like, okay, I can buy that cookbook and I can find it about vegan this or that and the vegan event. Okay. I can buy through this link and then you make those affiliate commissions. So it's kind of like this hub where people can kind of keep coming back to getting the information that they want, but then also purchasing products and services about that particular topic. The next thing you want to consider is when you're creating your brand is, do you want to be the brand? So you can have a personal brand or a business brand, right? And so a personal brand would just be like you as your name. So it'd be like John McNeil, right? John McNeil is my brand and that's who I kind of brand myself around or like Gary Vanderchuk. He's like, his name is a brand name. Or Ty Lopez, he's a brand name and they can sell different products and services under their name, but they are their brand versus do you want to have a, a business that's the brand? So this is my net diary, which is a popular weight loss blog that's online right now. So there's not one particular person that is the brand name. It is the business and you can do it either way. Um, I don't think there's like huge advantages between one or the other. It's just that whatever you choose, you want to kind of just stick with. So that's just something that you, you want to think about before you actually get started. So then you want to create social media platforms, right? So you have your main website, which is going to be like your hub. You're going to be producing content there, but then you're going to want to create some other social media platforms because this is going to help you, you know, uh, share the content out and syndicate the content out uh, to, to get traffic and just kind of building your trust and your reputation amongst uh, individuals in that niche. So, of course, you have YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Um, these are all great platforms. You don't have to do all of them. You can pick maybe one or two and just try to master those 
videos and really go hard in those platforms. And like I said, you know, here you have your main website. Um, and then, of course, you can syndicate that content out to any of these social media platforms, which is just going to, um, you know, get your message out, get your content out to more people um, in that niche, which is going to drive people back to your, your website in which you can sell, you know, your ClickBank products and services. So step three. We're at step three is once you have your uh, platform, your websites, uh, your social media accounts, you want to then grow your audience, right? And then how do you grow your audience? It's simple. You're just going to be creating valuable content. You're going to be creating content consistently. And that's why we kind of go back to, you know, you want to pick a niche that you're interested in, that you're passionate about, where it doesn't really feel like it's hard work to create this content because this is something that you're going to be doing over and over again. So you want to make sure the content is valuable. Um, you want to deliver it in multiple formats if possible. Possible. And most important, guys, most important, you want to make sure that the content is results oriented, like people are going to be able to take the content, consume it, learn something from it, and then implement on the content as soon as they uh, consume it. So they want to be able to get a result by, you know, watching your content. So that's really important. Um, again, you want to share your uh, content out and you want to network. So again, with those social media platforms, you're going to be able to share uh, on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. And then you want to network. You can join forums and Facebook groups. You can attend events and conferences. You know, get yourself involved. You know, let people know, you know, your website. You know, I'm always saying my, you know, johnmcneil.com. That's my website. So you guys can do the same. You know, you're just sharing, you're networking, and you. that's how you start to, you know, build your audience and build traffic to your different platforms. So then step four, we're at step four. It didn't take too long. I was kind of trying to run through this a little bit quick so the video is not too long. Step four, um, you're going to promote your product. So, you know, there's paid ways to promote your products. There's free ways to promote your products. So from a paid perspective, you can do PPC. So you can be running PPC to, you know, your blog or your sales funnels. You can be doing YouTube or Facebook ads. You can be doing banner or media buys from a free perspective. You can be doing SEO, blogging, YouTube, the organic uh, YouTube by just, you know, ranking videos, social media posts, Facebook groups, forum marketing, blog commenting. These are all sorts of ways to get traffic to your website. And you can be getting that traffic. You can be pointing it to you know, the different social media posts, you can be pointed to your website, all of these things are going to kind of work in conjunction. And then you have your products there. So you, if you're pointing them to your website, you can have multiple ClickBank products within that niche that they can buy. So they may be targeting, you know, one specific thing within that niche, and you have information on that, they can buy that product. And then it may be something that else that they didn't have an issue with. And then they consume that content and then they go and buy that product from your website again. So again, it's like having that hub um, there so that they can buy multiple different products and it kind of just sets you up for long-term success. So those are my four steps, guys. I know I kind of went through that fast. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure you leave that in the comment section below. Um, if you are looking for a automated way to have ClickBank campaigns, like a done for you ClickBank campaign, I did do a video a little while ago that shows you how you can actually set up a ClickBank campaign in less than 20 minutes. We're talking less than 20 minutes. You can have a ClickBank campaign fully automated and done for you and getting traffic. So if you guys are interested in a done for you solution, click the video in the description. I'll have that video for you. You can watch that video and it shows you more about how you can automate your own ClickBank campaign. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value from it. Hit that like button if you did. If you have any questions about it, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.